Hey, let me tell you why it's, you feel bad about a diagnosis of autism. I'm going to give you a, a little exercise to do that's going to put you in our shoes. Okay, I told you earlier in the sensory segment that it's very difficult for us to multitask. It's very difficult for us to process information from different senses simultaneously. Growing up, I was always in tears because in the old, I don't even know, if, do you guys still use blackboards? Yes. Yes, she says no, yes, no, okay. In my day, blackboards, okay, the teacher would get up in front of the class, she'd start the lesson out, she'd do the multiplication or whatever things, she writes them down, writes them down, and then she's yakking away as she's doing it. <laughs> and then the kids are there copying down the problems, you know, and listening to her. And never, I would always try to quickly write down what I needed to write down, and then halfway through, you know, when I got half the answer, she'd erase the board because she was already done and move on to something else. I just throw out my pencil and say, I can't do this. I, it was just really hard to do. I never understood what the problem was until I understood the difference between peripheral and central vision. And I realized, really, I'm smart. I know you got a high IQ. That's why I figure these things out. I figured out a great exercise that's going to put you in my shoes. You're going to know what it's going to feel like to be autistic when we do this little exercise. <coughs> I need to go back to something that's got a lot of verbiage in it. I'm just, I'm just, I need, I need to find something with a lot of verbiage. Oops, going wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. We're going to do a little exercise. Hey, wrong slides. Okay, never mind. I've got to find something with a lot of verbiage in it. Something with big words. Big words, I want big words. That's good enough. Because I've got a lot of letters. I want you all to take out a piece of, blank piece of paper. I need my clock for this one. Take out a blank piece of paper. Okay, with your dominant hand, if you're right-handed, you're going to put the pen in your non-dominant hand. If you're right-handed, put the pen in your left hand. If you're left-handed, put the pen in the right hand. Because I'm switching your brain thinking now. We're going from uh, switching it out to autistic. Now, you guys, your vision is central vision. My vision is peripheral vision. Now the world's changed, okay? Now you are the disability. You're the... A minority. You're now living in a world that's all autistic, okay? And we're going to be just as cruel to you as you are to us. So now I'm the teacher in the classroom, okay? So what I'm going to have you, don't do it until I, it's a timed event, okay? So don't do it until I time it. What you're going to do with your non-dominant hand on that piece of paper is I want your head and your eyes focused on non-autistics also have some really awkward social skills. When I give you the command, you're going to copy down that sentence <laughs> But you cannot look at the paper. You cannot have your eyes shift down from those words. You've got to use your peripheral vision to write. Before you do that, I'm going to give you 60 seconds. I expect it to be legible. And we're going to simulate the mainstream classroom. So before we start, I'm going to reiterate the rules here. The rules is non-dominant hand, blank piece of paper, head and eyes up there. You cannot look down at the paper, only through the borders, the corners of your eyes. And I'll time you. And we're going to simulate what it's like to be in mainstream classroom when the teacher's teaching. You ready for this wonderful exercise? Do you want to all be autistic for a moment? Yay! If you're happy and you know it, flap your hands. Okay, on my command, go. Okay, now that we're doing this, I want you to keep an eye on that. But I also have a lot of other things that I need to cover later on today. Hope we get around to all of it because there's two kinds of meltdowns. There's sensory meltdowns and there's also um, cognitive meltdowns. We have a lot to cover. And then tantrum is totally different than all of that. And then we have to also study these other things here. Maybe I should tell another story or two. Are you paying attention? Um, you've got uh, 30 seconds done. You've got 30 seconds to go. Now, I want you to also make sure that when you're writing this down, you listen to what I have to say because it's very important. We're going to have a test tomorrow and everything we covered. Matter of fact, on the back your evaluation. There's a little test, uh, 15 seconds left. We're going to have to complete that test. So after you finish that, pay attention. We're going to do that. I don't think you should have a problem. If that works out well for you, it works out well for me. I'm the teacher. No, you're the students. And I hope you're having a learning experience. This is the new way of we teaching. This is mainstream. Welcome to my world. Sucks to be you. Over. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> Look at your neighbor's paper. How well did you write? What on earth is that? <laughs> Was that fun? Did you enjoy doing that? Was that a great learning experience? Okay. Come on, guys. You know, work with me here. We're not in mime school. Come on. I think this was a really good exercise. You liked it? You enjoyed it? I say to myself, I wish when I'm working with my kids on the spectrum, I wish that I could have five minutes inside their head. Mm -hmm. 
five minutes so I can see what they're seeing, I can see how it's being interpreted, because I feel like I'm fishing for things too, too much. And I would love to see what's going on. I just feel like I'd be so much more effective. I could understand better. Well, how was this exercise? Was it a great, did, was it easy? No, no. no. Did you enjoy it? No. no. Why? What's wrong with it? Why was it stressful? Come on. What? Didn't get the full picture. What do you mean you didn't get the full picture? It's right up there on the board. There's no purpose. What do you mean you can't do it? What do you mean there's a purpose? There's always a purpose. Why can't you? What do you mean you can't do it? I'm able to. Why? Physiologically do it. Why? Because I was being asked to do something that I, my body is not programmed to do. How'd you feel? Awful. Why? What's awful? Who felt what? It's really confusing. Confusing. Frustrated. What was going on? What was so awful about it? I was fighting my own natural sense. You were fighting your own natural sense? Okay. What else? I what was, was so not able to multitask. You couldn't multitask. I was trying to listen to you yep. in case you gave me a quiz on what you were saying. <laughs> I was trying to write Well, now she's got a, a perfect point. On top of everything else, she's starting to worry about there might be a quiz on the end of this, and I, I'm not going to even get this, okay? So you're beginning to feel angst, anxiety. What I did is I literally made you autistic. By switching your dominant hand, I changed your process of thinking. And as a result now, you were just, you were exact, this is what the kids are, this is what happens to kids in mainstream. This is why they get so frustrated something they just kind of throw their pencils up and say, I can't do it, and they can't deal with it. It's asking you, I gave you sensory integration difficulties. I asked you to multitask, process many senses simultaneously cognitively with a, with, with a with, you know, and you couldn't do it. Physiologically, not that you didn't want to. You guys all actually gave an A for effort. You tried, but you couldn't do it. I thought you were mean and you were talking too quickly. But I don't think you really were talking too quickly than you're talking now. No, I actually talk the same speed. Um, it's just that when you're stressed, you begin, it, your, your perception changes. When it gets stressed, you, it appears I'm talking much faster. It appears that time is going by quicker. You didn't have enough time, etc. Everything, the parameters change because what underlying thing starts coming up is anxiety. Underneath all that, you begin to get, oh my God, she's probably going to give a quiz. I'm trying to pay attention. Um, this is what it's like for a child with autism in mainstream without any, you know, uh, accommodations trying to make their way. Let me tell you, there were more than me that had to grow up this way and just cry and bawl our eyes out when the teacher kept erasing and we weren't even done.